Hey guys, what is going on? I am jmaker 32 and I decided to make a Diablo 3 video. Um, this Diablo 3 video will be on and probably a little bit laggy. Um, internet wise, less graphics C wise because, um, okay, more graphics C wise. Um, because my internet sometimes takes a bit of the time to like buff itself up and it has just by a little bit. I got a new Wi Fi card so. My Wi-Fi should be better and drop out less. It, it cost me like twenty dollars, which is the same as my old one, and it is uh, two hundred, two yeah, two hundred and forty-six Mbps better. <laughs> it costs the same amount, but um, I got that a couple years ago, so probably the technology probably got better for it. Um, yeah. So I I wanted to make this Diablo three video um, on uh, trying to get money uh, from Diablo. I have, I've gotten like two dollars before. This is my achievement in Diablo. I, it, really, it was really, really good. It wasn't a big achievement. And you can see I'm like stepping through this fire and shit, which is not really good. But I'm here with myself. Um, I'm gonna start off, um, well, character wise. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you start playing Diablo is find a build. Um, every, every class has a build. My favorite is the Barbarian. Because of look, look, I'm, I'm opponent, I'm opponent, because of the whirlwind, uh, it's just my favorite. Um, just find a good build, stick with it, gear yourself for that build. You want to do as much damage as you can, but you also want to stick with the build. Um, um, right. See, this is why I can't really go into detail with that, but um, because uh, everyone has a different build, but just just try to get as much damage as you can. Um. And with gear, yeah, you want to have the best stats that you can at any given time. You might want to wait maybe five levels before you re-gear. Even if you pick stuff up and the stats are better for like damage and stuff. Um, if damage is better, if it improves it, but you know you lose like gold find and stuff, that's not important. Um, at, at like when you're trying to level. Um, one thing I do suggest is if it significantly takes away from your um, like, uh, bonus damage, don't, don't go off it. Um, and with the bon- like, I mean bonus XP, not bonus damage. Um, with the XP, the bonus XP, one of the gem that you want to have in your head socket, when your, um, head socket, in your helmet socket, when you are leveling, is the, um, the one, the one that gives you a bonus XP chance, basically because you have bonus XP. And it's gonna help you level. Uh, so yeah, what I have, to, I, I have, I do have a level 60. Probably gonna level like three. It's visited and failed. Um, for gear, like no, for, gear. for leveling, um, you really don't want to concentrate on like gold magic front gear, uh, even though you're gonna need that to make money in Diablo, but. Uh, one of the main reasons why I tell you not to focus on this is focus instead on getting to the Paragon level 100. Because every time you level a Paragon level, your um, your bonuses, like your gold and magic find bonuses, and your damage and stuff goes up by 3%. Oh, a lot of stuff. Goes up by 3%. And I, I probably do have a lot of magic find on this character. Um, I always try to look for it as a bonus, but I had like a million gold to spend on them at level 40, so, you know, I can probably afford to do that. Um, yeah, uh, you wanna, you wanna, you really get what you pay for with this gear as well. Um, so it's a thing that you have to consider. You pay a lot, you get good gear. Um, you don't pay a lot, well, you're gonna get moderate gear. Uh, um, that's, that's it for like gear and stuff. Uh, yeah, um, as I was saying before I got um, sidetracked, once you uh, hit Paragon level 300, because remember, oh shit, 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 remember every level you get up um, for Paragon, oh no, I don't want to get out of that, I don't want to get exploded in it again. Every level you go up, um, oh fuck, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Every Paragon level you get up, you get an extra 3% of your stats, so there's 100 Paragon levels in total, total, so if you do the mass, you actually max out your um, Gold and Magic Find at Paragon, Paragon level 3, uh, 100. 
um, going 3% each time, so it's 3 times 100, and that gives you, um, that gives you, uh, 300%, and that's, that's max. So you can really concentrate on the other stats and not spend a fortune on Golden Magic Fine. Um, this is why it's good to sell if you find Golden Magic Fine that are better than your gear and you paint it on the auction house or just below your gear when you're just normal walking around playing the game trying to level up. You sell the, sell the ones with Golden Magic Fine because some people just get the idea that you need Magic Fine. I used to have the idea and then I figured because I didn't know anything about program levels because when I started playing Diablo I like I played, I played and finished the game once and then went off and got bored of it, so that's that's why people think it, they just get it in the right head where you're gonna have to get level, th you're gonna have to get 300% golden magic fine, and that that's it. Um, it's not the case. You, there's plenty of time to get golden magic fine, um, and you know it's not a big deal. Don't sweat if you can't get it. Oh shit! You're to this. Um, don't sweat if you can't get it um, when you're like level. When, eat when you're leveling. You just want to get the best things that you can at any given time in the game. Because it's really going to help you, like, if you have, if you sacrifice everything for golden magic fine, you're really not going to be efficient in finding golden, like, magic, um, items. Because you're going to keep dying, um, and you're going to get really bored of the game, as I did when I was leveling my wizard. That was a pain in the ass, um, and I always kept dying because I never had the best gear for fighting, I just had the best magic fine gear in the game. It was ridiculous, and I spent, I spent, actually, when I had the idea of Golden Magic Fine, I spent a ridiculous, like, 60,000 gold on Gold Magic Fine gear that was absolutely useless. Oh, damn. Um, it's absolutely useless, and I didn't need to. I just wasted all my gold, and I actually paid real money, I paid two dollars, but I got that in the game. Yeah, so that's what I have to say about that. Um, tips on making gold up to, um, when you're getting to level, oops, oops, yeah, when you're getting to level, uh, 60, I would suggest actually breaking down your magics and rares that aren't very good, mainly because you can get, like, 10k gold from broken down mats, it's ridiculous how much money people pay for that when they can just go out and get it themselves. Um, there are plenty of things you can do. It's a really big learning experience. You can watch all the YouTube videos in the world and still not know everything about Diablo 3. Uh, it is a big game. It is, it is amazing to learn everything in one game. Um, auction House. Uh, like, I'm not an expert on the Auction House. I have only like, flipped one thing that cost me 10,000 gold and I got 25 cents for it. If you do that, there's actually quite a lot of profit. Um, thinking that uh, if you were to pay, um, uh, like if you were to pay 25 cents in gold, it's actually probably worth about 50,000 instead of 25,000. Um, I'm not going to say what it is, because I can k still use it, because I have um, 60,000, 69,000. Uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say for this video. I hope you found it useful in any given way. Uh, I always like to help people. Uh, if you didn't, please tell me. Please tell me what I could have done better. I will try and make another better video um, than uh, this this one. If you didn't found it, find it useful or helpful at all, um, I will uh, leave you with some gameplay for you now. That's fair.